Hi guys, welcome back to Input Plus. Today's video is the unboxing of a uh, mini tower, not a mid tower, but a mini tower uh, ATX case. It's the Fractal Design Focus G Mini. And um, I'm using this in one of my micro ATX uh, boards, uh, just changing things a bit. Uh, I like to um, play around with cases. Uh, what, if they look attractive, then uh, I go for it if the features are nice. So it's, a, it's kind of a cheap way to dress up uh, or reconfigure your, your, your setup. So, and if it um, passes muster, if it's uh, really a good case, then I might move my, my, main, um, my main unit um, onto this case. So uh, without further ado, um, let's unbox this thing. Oh, but first, uh, if um, you haven't done so, please uh, click on the red subscribe button below the video to subscribe to uh, my channel and I would certainly appreciate it. Okay, so let's proceed with the unboxing. Um, got a acrylic window okay I'm gonna take I have it sideways <laughs> okay so it's a little on the lengthy side but height wise it's perfect um, it's definitely definitely shorter than my oh my this thumb screws are They're locked in tight. Might have to get my uh, my tools. Okay, I'm back. Finally got to uh, straight from the factory. These thumb screws are really tight, so uh, I had to use a little uh, help from the uh, Phillips tool set. So, and we have a little box here by the drive cage. Uh, removable drive cages. Um, it uses pins, so you don't need screws if you're using three and a half inch hard drives. If you're using two and a half inch hard drives, then there are the uh, smaller section of four um, screw holes for your two and a halves. Uh, let's take out the, obviously that would be the um, hardware for the additional screws for the case. Okay, all in this little box. These are um, the tiny screws or the screws for the um, standoffs for the motherboard. And more screws. Mm, they have additional thumb screws in here in case you lose some of them. And pretty sure the rest are uh, screws for um, the fans and uh, no these are smaller screws for possibly the the um, the expansion cards okay and then they provided five uh, zip ties which I never use but it's nice as a bonus so those are the hardware accessories set that set that aside uh, the manual, like I said, will breeze through it, uh, or I mean, we'll just go through the features uh, visually. Okay. Okay, so we have two three and a half inch hard drive uh, trays here. And in the back, if we're talking storage, we'll continue talking about storage. I'll have to remove the thumb screws for the back side. Um, there is a dedicated SSD um, section in the back. So this is the back tray. Put it here. 
there's a bit of room for cable management uh, not very much but I think it's sufficient especially if you're using a micro ATX uh, uh, board um, let's see this is the section for the SSD on uh, the lower section right behind the uh, power supply and then since we're in the area of disk drives this is the um, five and a quarter uh, bay for two five and a quarter um, optical drives if you're still using that and this little thing that's jutting out here is a section where you can actually uh, put in another um, two and a half inch drive it's right below the cage and there's the uh, attachment section in for the uh, for the drive you can still attach it there um, just be careful here there's a little bit of uh, sharpness in this section so in case um, you're working around this area just be careful okay so like I said this is a micro ATX case so standoffs there's one pre-installed standoff I guess as a guide and this one is um, you cannot attach a screw to it so you just add your additional standoffs for your micro ATX this will obviously um, be able to accommodate a mini ITX as well so um, there are two and we will re we will remove the front panel now not with these but there we go there's the front panel <clears throat> this comes with two white LED 120 millimeter fans pre-installed um, so that's a nice bonus I always like my ventilation so don't have to worry about it and then on the rear here you can add your own still not sure whether to use my um, radiator on the front or just simply put it in the back and I know for a fact that the hard drive trace this bay here this hard drive bay is removable and if you wanted to you can have a bottom fan so that in addition to um, the two fans here one fan here and if you and there's also two sections for uh, two more fans uh, you have room for two four five six fans I don't know what system would need six fans but it won't be mine um, I might have one up here if I choose to do so uh, I don't see it happening at the moment we'll see we'll see how much room I have and then your power supply has room for a I guess a, a slightly longer power supply then you have your cutouts so it's nice because if you can see it up top here this is normally a tight situation with uh, your CPU ATX connectors uh, you can route your um, cooler cables through here which is nice then there's another cutout for the pre-installed wiring from the case then two more cutouts here to access your um, motherboard power and all that then uh, another nice cutout here obviously for your um, power supply cables to go out to and then a cutout here for your um, lower connectors normally your USB 2.0s and your front um, high def audio and all that so um, then dust filters uh, the front panel has removable dust filters uh, they're not uh, they're locked in by these tabs that you can fold and unfold um, just don't do it too often I guess because they're probably prone to breakage but not for a long time and um, it's really rare that I clean my filters anyway um, 
I don't run my PC 24-7 so uh, the dust doesn't collect that much I hope then the top section also has a dust filter uh, access to it it looks like they're tabs so I'm not gonna deal with it right now but they are certainly removable might be those spoiled thingies again but uh, no they look like screws so the dust filters uh, can be unscrewed uh, from the top and cleaned the bottom dust filter uh, it's not the uh, foldable tabs but they're tabs still but you have to kind of work because it's a flexible filter kind of have to get a grab take it out of the tabs and then after you're cleaning it put it back inside the tabs uh, not a fan of it looks troublesome but then again like I said I rarely clean my my filters because they don't get that dirty okay well I'm already having trouble with it but uh, I'll deal with it later I guess okay okay that's it so now we'll try to put in the unit and I'll show it to you uh, in a bit Hey guys so the build is finished um, got the two lights going on the front uh, quite disappointing with the lights um, they're LED to begin with but fairly weak uh, <laughs> it does add a little lighting here off to the side um, get the inside gets a little lighting but I, I get a lot from the added um, fan I put on top um it's a brighter um, led light so the interior uh, looks nice um had a trouble had trouble with the power supply cable not going long enough so i think that's a limitation of the power supply i used it's it's an older one um was able to manage the cables um uh, fairly well considering what i was uh, facing um I didn't like the cables um, how um, it was not easy to manage I, I ended up tucking a lot of them underneath the, um, the, the underneath the hard drive bay um, cage so uh, it works uh, not overly excited about it um, uh, but then again it's a mini ATX uh, I was going for you know tiny size uh, mm, I would recommend it but uh, if I had the choice I probably would go some would go to something else uh, other than this one but uh, hey as long as the computer is running we got a little lighting going on I have a case for my uh, for my uh, other PC so uh, I don't think I will be moving my main unit to this one mm. not right now so but that's it for the Fractal what's the name Fractal Focus G mini computer case micro ATX so uh, it's okay um, not over the moon about it but it's a computer case so take care guys uh, don't forget to subscribe to input plus click on the red subscribe button below the video and uh, if you like the video uh, give it a thumbs up and um, leave your comments. So until the next video, bye.